What's up YouTube, it is Alex, and today I just wanted to make a video on some new fish I got from my tropical tank, my new air pump, and uh, just a question about this tank. So I'll kick off with a question about this tank. Um, number one, I just want to say what great plant growth I have in this tank, just by letting the nutrient levels go a little bit more than I usually do. Um, goldfish are pretty hardy anyway, so the nitrates are about um, 60 ppm which isn't all that high actually, but the plants are just benefiting from it, you can tell. They're just going cr crazy really. Um, so I just wanted to ask with this tank, I'm thinking of getting an apple snail, because I just I think they look beastie. Um, but, because I have loaches in this tank, um, there's my male, because I have loaches in this tank, I'm thinking, is that such a good idea, because they're just going to like, just full on rape the apple snail and just eat it, basically, it's going to be food for them. Um, so I'm thinking, is that a good idea? What What are your guys' opinions on it? Um, but, just to let you know, I put this ramsel, I think it's a ramsel snail, like a just common snail that you get when you buy plants sometimes. Um, I got it when I bought some new plants for that tank, and I just saw it coming up the glass one day, and I thought, I'm going to put that in my um, goldfish tank for the loaches to eat. And it's been in there about a month. No joke, that, that snail has been alive for about a month in here. And the loaches haven't even gone near it. I haven't even seen them trying to get it or, or anything like that. So, um, I'm not sure. Are the loaches just going to eat it or not? Um, I need some help with that, so if you guys could um, give me some information with that. So, the new fish I've got over here are some dwarf gourami. And there's one hanging out of the back there. I don't know if you can appreciate the colours from this camera. Probably can't. Um, for Christmas I'm going to get a Flip Ultra HD, I'm going to get a waterproof case for it, so I'll be doing some underwater filming and stuff. These guys like to hide out a lot, but if you can just see in the reflection how colourful they are, I mean you've probably seen these guys a lot before, but I just think they are so beautiful. And I know what I say about dwarf gouramis, don't buy them, they, just, they come with uh, so many uh, problems dwarf gouramis do, but you know what? I think these guys are just amazing, and um, the the woman at the, uh, the fish shop said she had them in her tanks for about three months, and two had died, and these guys were fine, so I thought, right, hopefully it'll be safe. Um, and my other thing I want to talk about today is my new air pump. Uh, this is an Aqua L200, uh, yeah, 200. it's got two outlets, which is what I was looking for, because I need to run the air stone in here, and to run, run the air stone in there. And um, I run the air stone in here, and in there actually, um, after 5 o'clock, because I inject CO2 at 8 o'clock in the morning, an hour before the lights come on, and then I inject it at 3 o'clock in the um, afternoon, which is about three, four, about 4 hours away until the lights go off. And then at about 5, half past 5, I'll turn on the air stone, and um, that way it's getting the tank nice and oxygenated for the fish to be able to breathe at night when the plants have stopped photosynthesizing. So I'm pretty happy with this air pump. It's a bit louder to like the ear, just, if you just stood here, it's a, a little bit louder than the Tetra Tex. I don't know how well you can hear that. It's not even that loud. I think the bubbles are just about as loud as the air pump itself. And considering I actually have it stood out here on the top of the tank is quite... Amazing, and the only reason I've done that is because I don't have a non-return valve for both things. Um, and also, I think in the cabinet it creates like an echo of the sound, and actually makes it sound louder, so I've decided to keep it out here. It doesn't look too offensive, I don't think. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's got like adjustable, well it says it has adjustable flow, but, oh, I think it does actually. These little, these the little sort of knobby things that that go into can be turned left or right, and that adjusts it. So yeah. Um, that's about it really, new dwarf gourami in this tank, they're really really pretty. There's one there, hang on I'll get a nice shot of him. Oh, they do not like attention, they, they they hide quite a bit when I come up to the tank. Um, so anyway, I'm wondering if I should get an apple snail for this tank or a mystery snail, what do you guys think? Are my loaches going to eat them or not? Um, considering they haven't eaten this be the sort of quite large snail I put in, just common rams one I think they call them, um, from the other tank, so I don't know, will they get eaten, and yep, Aqua L, um, Ox, 
Oxyade or something like that. Hang on, have a look at the box for you. Um, Aquatel Oxy Boost 200 is a good air pump if you are if you are looking for a new air pump. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Could you please comment about the snail? That would be really great. Um, give me any feedback on that, any personal experience, and um, please could you subscribe to my channel. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to My Fish Care 101. Um, I came second place in her um, contest recently for my loaches, um, so I'm really happy about that. Thank you very much, um, Sarah. I think that's how your name is pronounced. S A R A. Sorry if it's not. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching.